Hello, my friends. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <Woo! laughs> uh, as I was thinking about being with you all this morning, I, an, I had an image pop into my mind of uh, when I was a little girl, we, uh, I lived part um, time in the Midwest and we would go to the Great Lakes particularly Lake Michigan. And I was having an image of, I'm gonna just stand to share this with you. Cause I was um, having an image of standing on the edge of the, the water, which looks very much like the ocean and having the water lap in, come and surround my feet and then go out again and come in and just the sense of, and each time it would come in, it would move more sand around my feet so that I was more deeply connected. And I had this water coming in and surrounding and then flowing back out again. And I thought, oh, there's our image for today because it occurred to me also that I was feeling a little bit um, drained this week. And so I thought, oh, love scoops. So last time we focused a little bit more on loop of awareness and I wanted to focus today on the power of love scoops and how love scoops are naturally occurring around us all the time. So I want to invite you to start today if it's possible for you to by standing and feeling your own feet is where we can combine our new fear melter of rooting with love scoops. So I'm gonna continue imagining myself on the edge of Lake Michigan with the water lapping around me in the most pleasant way. And I'd like you, whether you're standing on, you know, in a meadow or you're standing um, next to the water, I'd like you to imagine that your, your whole body is reaching down, just easily opening and finding yourself rooting uh, and extending on into all of that nourishment. And I'd like you to imagine that that water or that meadow is full of love. That's your love pool and it's swirling around you. Mm. And you can be like a plant that's drawing up that nutrient. So you can have your love scoops coming from the inside as well. All of that love is moving up through you. Mm, and you can let it extend out around you so that it's coming up and around. And it's also reaching down so you can let go of any feelings of being drained or just the sort of blah uh, or feeling overwhelmed. You can let that be carried out and incorporated into the larger love ocean, love great lakes. It's interesting how we are at least 80% water. So letting all of that water in you be refreshed just by the circulation. And that circulation connects us not only to the planet, it connects us to the moon, it connects us to the circulation of the planets. So letting that circulation, which is going on without you having to even think about it, imagine that now including you and refreshing you with oh, all of that nice, fresh love, which is being with, Letting yourself notice anywhere in your body that's asking for you to be with. So you can let that circulation go inside. It can go around. It can come up and over. 
So you can have it moving this way. You can actually have it moving this way too, up your back and over the front of you, and then splashing down into your love pool. You know, there are all of these great pictures on, uh, on social media of animals finding a pool and going <laughs> and uh, you know, our little kids finding a pool in the rain and going <laughs> So you can also let yourself, let it splash up. So it can be gentle, it can also be splashy, it can be splashing up and then refreshing you like a cosmic shower. Mm, and as I'm doing that, I'm beginning to feel more kind of streaming feelings through my arms. Don't neglect your armpit, you know, our, that where we connect in. Ah, letting all of that be included. Mm, lovely. Mm. And now you can actually take that into new kinds of love scoops. Like how can you create love scoops? I was thinking now I'm gonna create love scoop like I'm swimming through my pool of love. Ah, oh, doing a little breast stroke through my pool of love and whoosh. You can create the sounds that go with it. The whoosh or the whoosh, the whoosh as your, what I'm finding is that the, the places that it got kind of contracted um, or rigid are now feeling more swirly, a little bit more, uh, finding more curves. Ah, and I especially want to take that into my knees. Ah, my knees have been saying, what? It was 100 degrees two days ago, and now it's 50. Would you please regulate things a little better here? <laughs> so if you're having any part of your body that's having trouble with quick changes, give a little bit more attention. So I'm going to actually scoop in some love and give it directly to my knees. Ah. <sighs> That whole thing that they say about your joints responding to the weather, it's true. <laughs> so any little places in you that are feeling a little kinked up, ah. And be sure to give yourself just a little bit of rest and pause there after you do your love scoop so you can let it absorb. So one of the things I notice if I'm coming back to that, watching my feet as the water's coming in and out, what I can see also as the water goes out, a lot of it goes in. So some of it just looks like it disappears, but it's being integrated, it goes in. So feel the places that are wanting more of the love scoops to go in. So some, you're gonna to wanna to take some stiffness away and let it just go on out and be changed into love juice. And some of it you may want to let really integrate and nourish. So let yourself feel that as you're doing your love scoops. I can feel it also slowing me down so the whole sense of there are so many urgent things going on right now in the world that it's really easy to get caught up in the, oh my God. So for me, having just this practice <sighs> has been so refreshing and renewing. So as we're gathering today, also let yourself notice where in you is really calling for more nourishment. So I see some of you touch, this is a great place. So your face and your jaw, is, this is where my, you know, where I want to yell at the television. So you can love scoop and give that to, ah. Oh. 
And you can give it to your eyes also that you can scoop love in. And there's, there are things that were, are available for us to see now that human beings could go a whole lifetime without seeing. And so letting yourself have um, love scoops, and I see Harry doing a little, that's a great way also of generating love. So you can pull in and when you, when you rub your hands together, you generate a lot of energy between. And there's a whole practice that they have in taking care of your eyes where you cover your eyes. And you kind of cup so that your eyes are receiving all of that juice. It's a particular kind of love scoop that I find really refreshing. Just letting my eyes receive rather than reaching out. And that's part of love scoops and also the loop of awareness. So just even just that, if you give yourself a minute or two of this during the day, I think you'll notice that, ah, oh, ah, oh, your eyes feel more relaxed, the muscles, all those little muscles around your eyes go, ah. Oh. So love scooping and juicing up your hands and then ah, letting yourself also have the gift of not only darkness, but not having to do anything, just letting yourself ah, receive and be and love what is, that can be incredibly refreshing. And another way we do, when we do loop of awareness, we generally, I think most of us think of that as coming particularly from your eyes, because that's how we relate the most to our world. But what if you could let one of your other senses kind of be reaching out and then coming back to you? Like, what would it be if you heard, you let your loop of hearing extend out? So like I'm hearing tree trimming going on and I'm also hearing birds and I'm hearing my cat in the other room uh, sharpening her claws. So I'm hearing and I can bring all of those different sounds. Now, what are the sounds I'm hearing inside me? So I can hear sounds inside my ears. I can hear the sound of my, uh, my own voice inside my chest. And that takes me now into from hearing into feeling. Because for me, it's more I feel the sound of my own voice in my chest. So what are you feeling inside you? It's, um, not, not necessarily emotions, but what are you sensing? What are you feeling? And then that quality of feeling, send that out into the world around you. Because this is really the heart of appreciating, giving your sensitive awareness. So that's something that you feel into. And I like to let my hands kind of play with that because for me, it kind of feels like a sea anemone. I'm feeling into what's going on inside me. And as I'm doing that, my breath opens. Notice if your breath opens and creates more space when you're giving sea anemone attention to you. And then give that same kind of sea anemone, kind of feeling out into the area around you. So what we're doing is giving more three-dimensional, more layered kind of attention so that the nourishment of attention can keep expanding. And what I want to invite you to do in this week is to let yourself first feel that the world can nourish you and then it can nourish you through your feet and you can be like a 
like a plant that's absorbing that all the way up through you. And then that can ripple out into the world because you can keep using this to refresh yourself as well as letting your connection to the world expand. So as we're ending for today, let yourself just notice what kind of movement, sound your body's wanting to make right now. Mm, and if there's any sharing of this with other folks on the call, if you're noticing anyone that you'd like to give attention to or anyone that you'd like to receive attention from. Ah, and what you can do is like, <clears throat> so I particularly love the, the kind of uh, quality of attention that Greg gives and uh, both in our meetings and also online. And so I'm going to imagine myself getting that kind of attention. Mm, and then I'm going to give that attention to somebody else that I see. So let yourself just be noticing that even if you don't know people, you can use your interactions with people through the day as a way of feeling into that we're all in the same love pool and that you can kind of ripple out. It can be just a little kind of, hello, I see you. I feel you. Thank you for being here at the same time. Mm. And let yourself end with a few hmm. Mm, letting that reverberate through you. Mm. So my hmm feels much more expanded and deeper. I actually felt that one go all the way out through my feet. So see if you can let your hmm extend out some way around you. Hmm. And thank you so much for being here. And remember that you can touch into this anytime. This this love pool, we're all connected. And whether we're in the same space or not, our attention and love carries and travels and nourishes. So let that nourish you this week. And until next time, mwah! <laughs>